Hello, I'm Lee from Data Harvest, and the video today is just going to explain the difference between our two main data loggers, which are used from students aged 11 plus. So there's lots of our SmartQ sensors out there in the field already worldwide. A lot of you may have some older loggers, uh, so therefore you want to update to maybe Bluetooth, or you have some really old ones, which are serial port. These are the two choices that you have. Now, what's the difference between the two? The main difference is the V-Log just here can be attached to the PC, the same as the V-Hub. So actually when they're attached, they're identical, be it through Bluetooth or USB. But the big difference is the V-Log just here is a st can also be a standalone data logger. So therefore you can see numerical readings on the screen. For example, if you wanted to do some environmental work and you wanted to go out on the field, you can see numerical readings on there and all you have to take with you is the data logger. Another good experiment that's happening a lot at the moment, especially in the UK, is Newton's second law. So you can actually plug A and B light gates into here. You can then show the velocity at A, velocity at B. It will also show the time in between. So the students can then manually work out uh, acceleration themselves. So the big difference, this can be used by itself. You can see the readings on the front. All your existing wire, uh, wired sensors can also be plugged into the V-Log there as well. So, when they're connected, they're identical. So if you have devices available in school and you're looking to upgrade date from an older data logger of data harvest and you've got, as I said, the SmartQ sensors, I would recommend the V-Hub. Because if you've always got a device, you can plug this through USB or Bluetooth straight to it. All your old sensors will plug straight into it and should work perfectly. Now, if you're short of devices in school, uh, the V-Log will do some of the, cover some of the curriculum with the required practicals. Uh, but it will only show it numerically on the screen. You won't see a graph, but you will be able to do a reasonable amount of data logging with it as well. But hopefully devices might be <laughs> coming in your school at some point. Now, going forward, we are selling these for many years to come with a limited amount of the wired sensors. But if you've got some really old data logging or you are looking to update, maybe it's time to move to the wireless sensors. Now, the big difference with the wireless sensors is their data loggers in their own right. So for instance, the pH sensor here is USB, just like the loggers, and Bluetooth, just like the loggers, but you don't need a data logger. These are data logger built into here. This will go by via USB or Bluetooth straight back to your device, to your tablet, your laptop, your phone, and doesn't need anything in between. Now, another huge advantage of that is if you were, for instance, your department purchased multiple pH and multiple light gates, the pH can be used in chemistry the same time the light gates are being used in physics because you no longer need a data logger. So this is most new purchases, I have to be honest at the moment, are now going for the wireless sensors. But as I said, we are going to continue to support data loggers and wired sensors for many years to come. Now there's lots of videos on our YouTube channel showing how the wireless sensors work um, in experiments or the wireless sensors themselves and talking you through our EasySense 2 software. So please go on there, hopefully if you want, uh, like what you're seeing today and you want to see some more videos, especially on the wireless sensors. I uh, would like you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once you've subscribed, please go and click on the bell down the bottom to allow notifications. And then once we release more videos, you'll obviously be notified accordingly. If you want to contact us here at Data Harvest or you have any questions at all, please email us, which is sales at data-harvest.co.uk and the website is data-harvest.co.uk. Thank you very much.